Hey guys, we're going to talk about Steve's favorite lift. Was it the Steve Reeves deadlift or was it power walking or was it something else? Well, according to Dynamic Muscle Building, Steve's all-time favorite exercise were none of those things. It was actually incline dumbbell curls. Steve says, frequently I've been asked by enthusiastic bodybuilders whether I have any favorite exercises I suppose we all have our favorite exercise, and my favorite one happens to be the two-arm curl done while sitting on an inclined bench. There were two things I've always desired, broad shoulders and a husky pair of arms. Fortunately for me, I was inclined to be broad from the start, but while my arms responded to some extent, they never quite satisfied me. After spending years of intensive training, my arms finally reached the point where they measured 17 inches and there they stuck. No amount of training, no matter what I did or how I would perform arm exercises, nothing would make them grow. I became discouraged after all this effort and began to think my arms would never grow any larger no matter what I did. It was then that I hit upon the idea of doing my curls while sitting in an inclined bench. I was training at Yarex Gym at the time. That was in Oakland, California, and that was the first gym that Steve officially joined and he encouraged me to try it. I would sit back on the bench while holding a dumbbell in each hand and brace the back of my arms against a bar that ran through the back of the inclined bench. From this position, I would curl the dumbbells to the shoulder without any jerking or any other movement of the body to aid the curl. This solid position would permit me to concentrate more intensely on my biceps. The weights would be curled close to the body and setting out sideways as so many fellows curl. I found that by curling them so close, it affected my biceps just where I wanted it. And in a matter of weeks, my arms were now past my former sticking point of 17 inches. And later they taped a snug 18 inches under any circumstances. I suppose other exercises contributed to their growth but it was this exercise which finally made them grow to over 18 inches. In my opinion, I consider this exercise, at least in my own individual case, far superior than the regular curls. I can concentrate better and work the biceps more completely because my arms are braced against the bar in back of me. Sometimes when I work on an incline bench, which doesn't, which doesn't have any bar where I can brace my arms, I place the bench against a wall or some other place where I can brace my arms. This always permits me to concentrate on doing the exercise correctly and work them harder. And if you know about Steve, you know he was a stickler for form and he insisted on concentrating. So you would never interrupt Steve during a workout of course, after the workout, he was always happy to talk to people. But during the workout, he was very, very focused. My schedule works out something like this. I begin with a pair of 75 pounders. Whoo, that's a lot of weight with that type of form, with no momentum, you know, with a strict form, just using biceps. That is incredible which I curl in pretty rapid succession five times. Immediately, I take a pair of 70s and do five more, then the same with 65 pounders, et cetera, and keep working down in five pound jumps until I've completed eight sets of these curls. Another question I've been asked concerning this type of curling is whether I find it easier or harder to perform than regular curling. In my own case, I find it easier, but I know others who find it much harder than the regular curl. Maybe it's because I've done so many of them that my arms are stronger in this position. However, I do not practice this form of curling because I find it easier, but rather because it has brought me the desired results, that of increasing my arms. And so long as an exercise is productive, I'll keep doing it. And that, of course, is a very good point. If something's working for you, keep doing it. And then another section of dynamic muscle building, there is a short passage about the incline bench curl. And Steve says, there's another good exercise that I have found helpful in building bigger and better biceps, the incline bench curl. 
lie supinely on a bench with about a 45 degree incline. Let your arms hang straight down, curl the dumbbells up to full contraction, and then lower until your arms reach full extension. Repeat eight to 12 times. If you do less than eight reps, the dumbbells are too heavy. On the other hand, if you do more than 12, the weight should be increased. I hadn't been working out very long, comparatively speaking, when I won the Mr. America title, but I think that I must have tried just about every system possible. I found that the eight to 12 rep system works best for me, and it has worked best for the great majority of bodybuilders who have taken my suggestion and tried it. Try it for a month yourself on all of your exercises and see if it doesn't work for you too. So of course I had to go out and refresh my memory doing these incline dumbbell curls in my garage gym. There I am. And the big takeaways for me after reading this article, these work very, very well. In fact, two days later, my biceps are pretty achy still. Those are only 20 pound dumbbells. Now I did this at the end of a workout. So, you know, I had spent a lot of energy on other exercises. The keys here though, keep your head back, keep your shoulders back, all the way down, all the way up. And if you want, you can even do a little squeeze there at the top and that'll make a difference too. But this is an excellent exercise. It's completely safe. It takes your lower back out of the exercise. There's no momentum. And I'm just blown away that he was able to use 75 pounds, 70 pounds. As mentioned, these were Steve's actual dumbbells. And from what I've heard, they were a gift from Vic Boff to Steve. Each side has one of his titles. For instance, 1948 Mr. World, 1950 Mr. Universe. And I love the handles, the way they move, the thickness of them. These dumbbells are awesome. They're obviously my favorite dumbbells for a variety of reasons. There's Mr. USA, and then on the other side, 1950 Mr. Universe. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. I have a lot more Steve Reeves uh, memorabilia, just stories that you may not have heard yet about Steve. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.